Tim Collins with Coleman Today. I'm out with Mary Hovatter. She's a candidate in place one for Coleman City School Board. Mary, we're out here in front of the Coleman High School Bearcat Band Truck and Trailer. You're intimately involved with the band, aren't you? Yes, it's my favorite thing. Um, both my boys came through the band uh, here. I, uh, however, was not in the band, but uh, I'm so proud of them. Our band is fantastic here at Coleman. Uh, from beginner band through high school, but uh, we have a lovely uh, truck and trailer cover now. We're so excited getting that last year, and I happen to be a band booster, uh, which is a fun, fun job and a great team of folks, and I've been the president now for the past three years. I was so going to say, you are the band booster, I right? I am. I am. Now, I'm going to switch into why we're here is to talk about school board matters, and you shifting from the head of the, the booster club to being school board. Now, I'm going to tell you a funny story. I had a gentleman who follows politics, particularly the school board, very closely. And he said to me, Tim, Mary Hovatter has more IQ in one square inch of her brain than you have in your whole head. And I said, hey, are you making fun of me? She goes, he goes, no, you're, you're smart enough, but she's the smartest person I know. <laughs> Is that true? Are you really that smart? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but I appreciate whoever said it. It's a I'm a big fan of theirs, too. <laughs> that okay. was very sweet. But I do work for NASA, and I guess he may be referring to the fact that I'm a physicist for NASA, which sounds really cool. Uh, lots of meetings, though. It's not quite as cool as you think. But uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, great job. I love my job. I do um, everything from strategic planning down to trying to figure out what kind of new vehicle we're going to we're going to fly. So, so you apply that to the logistics of, of physics for NASA then? Is that kind yes. of it? Or do you get into rocket science and infrared a, a technology? A little bit of everything. I dabble in a little bit of everything, which is great. Um, it's nice that I've been able to see all kinds of different aspects of that. And I even take that into the classroom. I come out and go to all the classrooms every year and talk to the kids about space and engineering and answer all their questions or almost all their questions. Sometimes they're smarter than I am. I got you. But uh, that's a lot of fun and a great thing that I get to do uh, to interact uh, with the kids, especially some of those that may never have heard about any of this kind of thing and wouldn't have somebody to be able to talk to about this. Um, I had one little girl that said, oh no, I can't do that. I can't be an engineer. That's that's not for girls. And I said, oh, really? Yes, it is too. So that was kind of a push to say girls can be engineers, boys can be nurses, you can be anything you want to be. So right it's a nice thing. Well, now as the president of the Band Booster Club, obviously a super smart physicist with NASA, <laughs> How do you translate that down and turn it into being a school board member? I mean, that's what, what, what this whole point is. You're running for school board. How, how do those qualities help you? Sure. Um, I've had that a lot. People ask me that a lot. And it's, I had to think about it a little bit. When I was first approached about maybe doing this, I was like, gosh, I really would like to, but I'm not sure that I have exactly the right skill set. So I had to go back up a little bit and say, um, okay, what, what exactly are my skill set and what do they need? So I started doing my homework a little bit about what school board member would need and realized that all the strategic planning that I had been doing for NASA, all of the project management, grant writing, uh, you name it, um, I bring money into NASA and I figure out where we're going to go in the future and that's kind of exactly what we need over here. Even dealing with federal budgets, holy cow, you know, that's always a mess and red tape. So it's nice that I've had that background at a federal level. I know it's a little different for state, but I can still translate that pretty easily. So I'm, I'm excited that I have a very unique background to bring. I follow what you're saying. Well, then let's switch over to, let's assume you were elected for the school board. You are running for so you gotta you got to yes. earn it. Yes. Well, as you look at the Coleman City School System, what do you see as the number one advantage? What's our strong point? Well, and I know everybody says the same thing, but it's the people, and it really is. But it's more than just the people. It's the way the people come together. Um, it's uh, that family atmosphere, that team. It's a team. Um, I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for the, the city school system and the colleges and things like that because they're a team. And I've seen that with my own children. The whole group, they come together, they work for these kids, they make sure they're doing the right thing, and that's, I want to be a part of that team. I follow. So, so you've seen the strategy or the biggest plus in some common city schools is the team atmosphere that's been created. Yes, yes. The administration, uh, the teachers, you know, everybody's working together and I love that. I, I just They're so supportive of each other and I think that is just phenomenal. I follow you. Well let's flip, flip the coin over to the other side. 
What do you see as the biggest challenge, the biggest weakness that needs to be addressed with you as a school board member? Well, you know, there's a few things coming up. Of course, there's always the things we never know is going to come up, and I'm sure we'll have to deal with that. But space is obviously an issue that's been a really hot topic. Um, and we've also got a few issues uh, making sure that we've got the right technology in place. You know, as we advance, we have all this great technology. How do we keep up with the times? But to encompass all that really is that strategic plan that I was talking about before. We really need a good one. And not only that, but we need an implementation plan. Um, it's, you can strategize all day long and you can write plans all day long, but if you don't have a way to implement, then you'll fall right on your face. So would I be correct in assuming that not only can you write the plan, but you can implement it as well? Yeah, I have to do that all day long at <laughs> work. So yeah, so that's absolutely what I want to do for, for here. Yeah. So is Mary Hobata the implementer? <laughs> Sort of. Now, dun, dun, dun. one last question. I know that politics is probably not really your thing, and it's probably the least interesting part of this whole process, but you're in a race. You're opposed. I don't want to get into your secret world and strategies, but what are you doing to, to generate votes? Um, I'm just trying to get out there and meet people, shake hands. i uh, been trying to keep people cool. I've been passing out fans when it was really hot outside to different groups and things that were going on July 4th. and. Uh, different places. Um, I'll be involved uh, with another event coming up, if I can plug just a little bit, the uh, Bearcat Growls that's coming up right. on the 13th. So I'll be out there helping pass out water and doing whatever I can there. So I'm just kind of getting it out, getting social media going. Uh, but I started all the social media and a lot of this stuff back the 1st of May. So I've sort of, <laughs> I've been doing this for a little while now, probably a little early, but I wasn't sure that everybody would know me. So I really wanted to Get everything out there. Of course, I'll be sending out mailers and different things like You're that. You're doing so it all. I'm trying. <laughs> Good for you. Well, I think that's it. Anyone, any last thoughts, uh, things you want to impart to voters before, before the election? No, just um, I think it's this place, like I mentioned, this place has made me who I am, and I really, I really want to give back to that. I know that um, uh, my kids have went through this, and I've went through my family have all been here, and I just feel like everybody should take a turn, you know, giving back, and it's my turn to give back in this way. Mary, thanks so much for taking time out and meeting me here in front of the, the apparatus. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you.